my name's Artemis and a little while ago I did a little investigatory video into whether kink belongs at Pride. That was all part of my Pride Month stuff, but I also was thinking whether kink belongs at furry conventions. And I was going to include it in that video, but it kind of seemed like a separate issue and also like a big one as well. So I thought, fuck it, let's, let's do that video now. So I asked opinions and this isn't going to be like an actual authoritative thing. This isn't me saying yes you're allowed to be kinky or no because no one really gets the right to do that apart from maybe the uh, organizers of the convention itself. But the opinion of the fandom is pretty split and I was wondering what the general consensus is. So I asked and this is the results. Hopefully you enjoy. The furry fandom and by extension fursuits are an expression of our own individualism and who we are as a person and what we like. So I suppose it is only natural that if you're going to express all of these aspects of yourself, you're going to want to express all the other aspects as well. I mean, I'm guilty of doing the same thing. Look at the stupid amount of poor pictures I've taken. But kinks in the fandom are shown with a variety of different ways and a lot of different things that can uh, help you actually display that you like them. And I don't need to go into the full list of kinks within the fandom because my god we would be here forever. But you also all know what I mean and there's probably some animated list scrolling on the side here anyway. But even within that list, every single kink and interest in there can have its own separate levels of sexual interest or just complete non-sexual interest. So each one is broken down into safer work and not safer work, and it's just a lot. There is a lot. And of course, a lot of these things are not very conventional in our world, and that's why we actually come to the furry fandom, is because a lot of us are not very conventional in the wider world, and therefore you're gonna want to enjoy that expression as much as you can. And seeing as a furry convention is basically the boiled down, concentrated furry experience, it's pretty damn easy to see exactly why people want to express themselves in those ways and show off exactly what they love. Of course, it's never quite as easy as that when everyone has different tastes now, is it? Which is why everybody has their own opinion. So, in preparation for this little exploration of kinkiness within furry conventions and the furry fandom itself, I took to Twitter to poll you guys on your opinions and you did not disappoint. You are very opinionated about this very subject. Now, usually I would go over like each response and talk about the points that was made and see if I agree or disagree, but there was like over 117 or more. There was loads and loads of responses. So, what I actually did was go through them and sort of uh, distill them down to the themes and topics that you were all generally agreeing on so that I can go over those and then in this fancy ass fucking Twitter graphic thing that's just appeared here I hope it's fancy ass I've got to learn how to animate that um, I will have some relevant tweets from you guys that sort of support what you were saying where I got all of this shit from so so that's the format of this little section now one of the big points to all of this was that there was actually like a gradient to kink and there needs to be respect for yourself and other people in terms of you know the difference between certain kinks and others and the difference between outing them in public and not obviously things like nudity and extreme themes and outfits and aesthetics and looks cannot really be tolerated at such a public convention that is open to families and children so there does need to be a level of restraint when it comes to a lot of these certain things and there is a sort of dividing line almost as to what you can show and what you can't a lot of people did express an interest in keeping things separate for the comfort of others things such as only having kinks on display in specific areas of the con or even different times like i mean you see this sometimes almost like an unwritten rule with certain conventions where people will only bring out certain outfits and kinky themes after a certain time at night so that uh, so it is sort of kept separate from everywhere else. It is a level of respect so that it's not all in your face all the time. In a lot of ways we do already see this with a lot of cons having separate not safe for work areas for the dealer's den, artist alley and the auction. Uh, places like Confuzzled have the artists actually censor the dicks which hell with some of the stalls is actually pretty goddamn hilarious and um, even having like actual sex toys and shit like Bad Dragon and that sort of thing and the dildos not actually sold or on display in the dealer's den but it being a separate location that you are invited to go and purchase does make it seem a little back alley but I do very much appreciate the fact that it isn't just all on display and in your face because I never realized just how uncomfortable and shy I get when I see that stuff but it's nice not to have to worry about it. 
Kiwi being separate from kids is obviously a huge consideration to make. There is an element of safeguarding to a convention that allows children to turn up. And, you know, this is quite a common thing in the States. Not so much an issue in the UK, where I think every convention that happens is at least 18 over. Um, and some of the fur meets are 16 and over. So everybody is of the right age to attend. But obviously, at certain US conventions, you have children wander wandering around. Stumble over that word. And you can't really have explicit sexual gear on display around that and think it's okay. And there is a sort of difficult line because obviously the certain things are going to have adult and sexual connotations to them, despite the fact they might not actually be adult or sexual to the person exhibiting them. But it is all down to that perception as well. And honestly, not exposing kids to things before they're ready is something we should have up on a priority list, pretty high up. There was also a few of you making points that we should adhere to the same rules as anime cons and comic cons, and I think that is actually a very good idea. It brings us in line with everywhere else. It sort of sets almost a universal set of rules for conventions in general that we can adhere to and everyone else can adhere to. And you know, okay, we're going to a convention. We know what the rules are going to be because they're universal and that does help merge us in. And of course, you do get those dickheads who, you know, want to wander around with fucking nipple clamps on or something in broad daylight. You can say to them, no, you wouldn't do this at Comic-Con. You wouldn't do this at an anime con, so you won't do it here. I mean, they might do it at all of that, but at that point, they're beyond help if they're not listening to reason. And of course, a lot of you were mentioning very iconic things such as harnesses and pop hoods, which are a very difficult grey area because on the one hand, they can be very not sexual and very aesthetic based or even with the mindset of pop play and whatnot. And harnesses, I mean, it could just be a sled dog or, you know, like a reindeer or something like that. But also there is a very adult side to it. And there can be a lot of instances where you sort of cross the line with that, which leads to almost a grey area and like a dividing line in the sand between what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. And would you look at that, I just segue to the next segment. Now, of course, the actual answer to the question, should kink be allowed at fur cons, can never really be given a definitive yes or no answer because it ranges so much in its presentation and what it means to each individual person. I mean, for instance, as I've said before, paws are probably the biggest interest in the fandom and shared by the most amount of people. So how come I'm allowed to just do this at any con? And I do, and I have a lot. Paws seem to be absolutely okay. Everybody's okay with paws. You can have fursuit paw photo shoots all over the place. And that's just fine. So that works for that particular interest. But for instance, certain other kinks, not really going to fly, is it? You can't just do like fursuit bondage photo shoots in the middle of the fucking lobby. I mean, you can if you want, but that ain't going to go down that well, is it? Now, of course, there are some things that are pretty obviously not going to be tolerated and accepted, like nudity, extremely revealing outfits, you know, like big bulges which you can't even pretend are not you know suggestive and a lot of certain aesthetics and whatnot which is why a lot of cons have like over 18 panels a lot of people have their own private room parties and that's honestly quite a good way of doing things but it does kind of bring in that there is a sort of dividing line with what is acceptable and is not acceptable and we all just sort of abide by it without ever really writing it down or putting it in place ourselves it's like an unwritten rule there and that's what makes it such a hard issue is that it's mostly down to personal preference. Obviously, the people who share something are going to be far happier to see it in public than the people who don't. And there are certain things that are going to be fine for the most part. And you couldn't even argue a particularly adult, but might make some people uncomfortable. I mean, I've seen people full on, let's go back to pause again, stomping people's faces in public. And I'm like, OK, that's a bit weird to be seeing that out and about. But I guess you do, you champ. That's, you know, it's not really up for me to say, but... We're, okay, okay, that's just gonna happen in the lobby, is it? Okay. This grey area, this dividing line is always going to be the real stickler of the situation and I, I get why nobody really wants to put hard rules down and say yes for this, no for that, because honestly, where do you even start? I think at the end of the day, it all comes down to respect. Respect for yourself in not showing everything off and keeping things private to your own self because, I mean, not everybody deserves to know everything about you and not everybody is going to earn themselves into that trust. You don't have to open yourself up like a phone book for the world to read because it's just not necessary. 
but also respect for the convention as well. Respect for the fact that they're trying to run an event that is going to have a perception in the wider community of the world and the local area. And perhaps a bunch of people walking around in soiled diapers is not going to help matters if uh, they're not having an easy time getting a venue. There is an element of give and take there really isn't there. But also, think about it, the general consensus is that a lot of these kinks should remain behind closed doors and in private, which means that the general public and the general fandom of us um, actually prefers it when that sort of stuff is not fully on display and shoved in your face, which means you can maybe walk around and all of this and engage in it in public, but you're not going to get a good reaction from that. Not a lot of people are going to side with you and agree like, hey, they've got a right to be humping in the lobby, fuck you. No, we don't really want to see that. This is not the setting for that. That's not going to make you feel good. That's not going to make you feel welcome or accepted about your interest because you've exposed it in a way that it shouldn't have been exposed. So have some respect for yourself and actually engage in things in the right direction in the way that they are supposed to be engaged in. Essentially, it's always going to be a grey area, everyone having their own personal preferences, but it's pretty actually easy to see exactly where the line is drawn here and exactly what is and is not acceptable. It just seems like sometimes we don't want to believe that because, well, we want to have our fun, don't we? We want to have our cake and eat it. Okay, and there you have it. That's all of the opinion that I polled. Obviously, I will reiterate once again, this is not a definite yes or a definite no, because honestly, there really isn't one. And honestly, I'm not in a position of authority to make that call. I was just curious as to what other people thought, how it might line up with my own shit. I, for one, don't personally give a shit what other people are going to parade around, but I'm not going to lie and pretend that I'm totally comfortable with some of the shit that I've seen in public. At the end of the day, it's not my business and nobody should have to, you know, alter themselves for my own sensibilities, especially where I am very sexual, repulsed and asexual, but also there is a dividing line in the fact that I'm not going to be alone in thinking that and that maybe just have a bit of respect for yourself. Like, you know, sometimes you don't, need, it doesn't need to be 2 p.m. and you're wandering around like that. So it's a difficult one. I don't envy any convention trying to put in place solid rules on it or even try to enforce it. But thankfully, by and large, people do seem to have some modicum of common sense with it all. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, because believe it or not, I do actually read them. I just am shit at responding. So give them a read. I will try to uh, we'll give them a reply. I'll try to, you know, respond if I can. But by and large, it's usually it's because like, yeah, I agree. Like, there's not really much point me typing that out. If you uh, do feel like you would like to, uh, you know, subscribe go for it if you feel like you'd like to support go for it as well shameless plug that is what i am famous for actually i'm famous for the pause but hey the pause are on there as well so go nuts but uh, yeah thank you very much let's end this video now